so today I'm back with another Vitacost haul. Last time I mentioned um, in my latest Vitacost haul that I had another order coming. So many of you requested for me to film one again. I'm never sure on how often you want to see my hauls, but um, the feedback was mostly yes, film another Vitacost haul. I had mentioned that my order was going to be bigger than my la latest haul but it ended up not being as big as I thought it was going to be. It was bigger in the amount of products because I just ordered multiple products of the same product, if that makes sense. So when I, usually what I do is, sometimes I'll just put the multiple ones aside and then I just keep the one in the box because why show you three chocolate bars? And so sometimes I do that. So when I kind of narrowed it down, it didn't seem as big as I was foreseeing, but um, it's actually good because this way the haul won't be as big. So let's go ahead and get started. I don't want to make this video too long. I know these always tend to be so long, so hopefully I can tell you about the products, you know, without taking too long. To make so. it easy, I'm just going to keep the box on my lap so I can, I don't have to keep, you know, bending down. So let me start off with, I guess, food. Um, I just got the Vitacost Certified Organic Extra Virgin Olive Oil. It's first. Um, cold press and it looks like this it's very affordable sometimes I get my olive oil at Costco um, but I found that they have a really good price too at Vitacost and I do like the little containers um, they are very handy just just because like at Costco you get the three liter ones and that doesn't fit in my cabinet so I'll keep that one aside but on my like everyday um, kind of seasoning pantry this is a better size and I really like it it's a green bottle because um, I don't know if you know, but olive oil, if it's in contact with heat or even sunlight, it can damage it. Um, so you should always get it when it's in a darker bottle and keep it out of sunlight. And next I have the organic pizza sauce. Um, I got this in the can. I've been very much into making pizza at home and I've been making the gluten-free pizza. And it's so much easier than I initially thought it was going to be. I always pictured, you know, making the crusts to be just a lengthy process. I don't know why, but if you're not gluten-free, I would definitely recommend that you even make the normal pizza because gluten-free is usually trickier, so if that one turned out really good, I'm sure the regular one will turn out good as well. Um, so, which brings me to another product. I got the gluten-free pizza crust whole grain mix, and this is gluten-free. It comes with the yeast bag inside, so um, I wanted to give this pizza sauce a try, and I got two of these because each package makes two pizzas, 12 inch pizzas, round pizzas, and then um, I got four of these cans because I wanted a can for each pizza. So really excited to make this. I, you know, what's fun about making your own pizza at home is that you know what ingredients you're putting. Um, you can use up like just different vegetables that you have accumulating in your fridge or even frozen vegetables. Um, just so easy, you can just make it whatever way you like it, just top it with your favorite toppings and it's not hard at all. I get my pizza done in 10 minutes in the oven, so, and it's so fresh, it's so good. I have some cinnamon sticks. Now this is kind of an odd thing because this is not something I use on a daily basis, but sometimes when I make rice pudding at home or even other recipes, it will call for cinnamon sticks and I just don't have them. So this doesn't go bad at all. I mean, I don't even know if there's an expiration date if there is, it's going to be very far out. Um, so this comes with, I don't know how many, but quite a lot of sticks in there. So this should last me a long time. And I've actually seen some recipes on Pinterest just to make your house smell good that use this. So if you're into that and if you know any kind of recipes, you know those, I've seen recipes for where you put like a pot with like lemon and cinnamon sticks and vanilla and essential oil and then you just let it boil and it just gives your house this beautiful scent um, and smell. I've never tried that but I've seen a lot of recipes on Pinterest that do that and you need cinnamon sticks typically. So if you're familiar with that just let me know because I'm very curious about them. And next I have the Wild Albacore Tuna. No salt added. Um, this is wild caught and it's um, a BPA-free can, and then it's also low mercury. So it's a little bit more expensive than your typical tuna, but it's not tuna, it's albacore tuna. So it is tuna, but it's like the more expensive one anyway. But I really like this one. It's 
in water and there's no salt added so it makes it very simple it's just the tuna itself and it tastes really good it's a little bit pricey but it's, it's definitely worth it you definitely taste the difference also by the same brand I have the wild sardines that come in water as well they look like this so it's a similar thing BPA free and um, so it doesn't come in oil and it is low mercury in comparison to other brands so I do recommend these next you've seen this multiple times in my videos it's the endangered species dark chocolate with 88% cocoa it's all natural non GMO certified gluten free love this um, to eat it as it is just as chocolate I cut it up in squares and I keep it in my fridge so I'll have two three a night um, so it helps me keep my cravings um, down because I always crave chocolate but this is the good thing to crave so when I eat this I feel like it prevents me from craving worse things but also when I make homemade chocolate mousse um, this is really good because it's very low in sugar so it just gives it a very rich chocolatey taste so it's very good and it's very affordable for what it is I think it's only like two something 250 which is very cheap and next up I have the Vega protein smoothie in tropical tango flavor um, this is actually not for me I'm not a very big protein drinker at all but this is actually for my husband he likes to drink one of these smoothies every day um, I do like this brand a lot I for some reason my system I don't agree with white protein um, I'm just I definitely have some kind of sensitivity to it because I get itchy ears and throat and it just I know I don't feel good when I have any type of whey supplement so when I do have some type of protein drink I like to have one that is based off of vegetables um, and this is a vegetable protein source so I really like it it's very naturally tasting um, usually we'll get the mango the chocolate and the vanilla um, vanilla is good because no matter what combination of fruit you put in there it doesn't really it goes kind of goes with everything it doesn't alter the taste whereas if you want to make a tropical one the mango is good too they have other fruit ones but we usually tend to get this one and then chocolate's good because if you want to do chocolate and banana it's just very good it's very chocolatey um, I do really like these the ingredients in this are really good to own organic raisins I love raisins um, add this to cookies muffins but even on a daily basis I add it to my yogurt um, to cottage cheese to cereal and this is definitely by far my favorite brand I've tried other organic raisin brands and it doesn't taste nearly as good this is just so good I definitely recommend that you check it out so I just realized that there's a product missing and I think that product is coming from a different shipment facility and I do remember them sending me an email with that separate serum in a different order but I never even realized that it didn't come in this one until now, until I'm looking at the product. Anyway, I got two of the Andalou Natural products. So I have two here and I just realized that the other one is still on its way, which is the serum. But they're all by the same line, which is a new um, line for them. It's the Sensitive Skin line and it's the A Thousand Roses. So this I got, it's the Rose Water Mask. So it's just a mask treatment for you to do once a week twice a week if your skin is sensitive and dry um, you know it's very nice to do one of these hydrating treatments and because it is made for sensitive skin it won't be too harsh on your skin pH and all that um, if you follow my channel um, I was using for the longest time the Andalou Naturals brightening toner that has turmeric I believe it's the green bottle has vitamin C it's the brightening line one um, which I love but now because I ran out of toner I decided to give this one a try again it's for delicate and dry skin which is my skin and let me just open to see what they look like so it looks like this the packaging is so cute it's pink um, I want to see what it smells like mm, it smells so good I'm not a huge fan of roses and the only reason why I gave this um, line a try is because in one of my Vitacost orders they sent me a sample for their day and night cream and I realized that the scent was it's definitely a rose scent but it had kind of a vanilla undertone it wasn't too out there so I really like the scent it's very feminine 
and if you're you know kind of scared about the rose scent don't be because it's not as intense as you're probably picturing it to be so this is the mask again super cute i really like the packaging i mean not that the packaging is so important but you know if it's a good product and it's natural and it does what it needs to, needs to do i do appreciate having a pretty packaging like on my counter and things like that so i think all us women could appreciate that and this is how it comes on the inside super pretty so i will keep you posted on how i like these products and now i can't wait to get the serum too because i actually just ran out of serum i have a product which is actually not for me it's the burt's bees um deodorant with oil of sage this is actually for my husband he really likes it um when we switch to more natural deodorants i Right now, I'm sticking with the La Vanilla that I get at Sephora, and I love it so much. But he really likes this one. It's more of a manly scent, because it even says outdoor. So, But he says it really works even when he's working in the yard. Um, it seems to do its job. So I think this is like his second bottle or third bottle. Now, as far as hygiene, and I've mentioned a couple of these products in my videos before, but I actually try, I'm try, going to try this one for the first time. It's by Natra Care, um, and it's the panty liners, but I got the thongs ones because the other ones are fine. They work perfectly, but um, when I wear a thong, TMI, but when I wear that, I feel like these would work a little bit better. Um, I've switched to organic and natural cotton for a while now just because I really don't want anything bleached down there. I feel like it's not healthy, and they work just as well. So. I got this to try it out. I'm using the same brand, just the regular ones, and they work really good. And these are not expensive at all. I think they're the same price as your normal panty liner. So, all right, and last but not least, I can take the box away. Um, I'm very excited about this because I needed an exfoliator, a body exfoliator. I focus so much on getting body, not body scrubs. I focus so much on getting face scrubs and exfoliators for my face but then I kind of forget about my body and sometimes I make I make them myself, but I feel like, you know, I've been just running out of time and I do have to pick um, where I want to spend my time and where it's really worth it. Um, so I really can't make everything at home and I feel like I already do a lot at home. So I decided to give this a try because it was very affordable and it was on Sephora, Ulta, a bunch of websites and all across it had really good reviews and I got the Brazilian nut one um, I think this is the only one Vitacost carries but they have at least 10 different scents and they all seem to be great per the reviews so I'm excited to try this one and then if I like it I'll be excited to try you know the other scents because they had some interesting scents but this is the Shea Sugar Scrub it's Brazilian nut the brand is Tree Hut and it looks like this so I'm very excited because especially now it's summertime so we're wearing shorts and dresses and I've been having this like huge tendency of getting ingrown hairs so I really need to exfoliate on a regular basis to see if I can prevent that from happening and yeah I'm really excited to give this a try so all right guys, so that was it for my Vitacost haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video if you did. Also, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. As always, comment down below with your input. I love reading your comments. Um, anything that you think is worth sharing about the products or about anything else, um, please do. I love reading your comments and I do reply to them as much as I can. And yeah, thank you for hearing me for however long this video is gonna be but for keeping me company and even for keeping me company on this journey with my channel and blog, as I wanted to tell you too, I'm still working on my blog. We had a kind of couple of pushbacks, but I promise I will let you know when my new blog airs because some of you have been asking me why it's still under construction when you go and visit, but I promise I'm doing my best to keep to air it very soon. And I just want to make sure I like it and everything is well organized for you guys. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.